Sparkle Reads A Study in Scarlet by Arthur Conan Doyle Chapter 1 Mr. Sherlock Holmes In the year 1878, I took my degree of Doctor of Medicine of the University of London and proceeded to Netley to go through the course prescribed for surgeons in the army. Having completed my studies there, I was duly attached to the 5th Northumberland Fusiliers as assistant surgeon. The regiment was stationed in India at the time, and before I could join it, the Second Afghan War had broken out. On landing at Bombay, I learned that the corpse had advanced through the passes, and was already deep in the enemy's country. I followed. However, with many other officers who were in the same situation as myself, and succeeded in reaching Kandahar in safety, where I found my regiment, and at once entered upon my new duties. The campaign brought honours and promotions to many, but for me had nothing but misfortune and disaster. I was removed from my brigade and attached to the Berkshires, to whom I served at the fatal Battle of Maywand. There I was struck on the shoulder by a gazelle bullet, which shattered the bone and grazed my subclavian artery. I should have fallen into the hands of the murderous Geyses, had it not been for the devotion and courage shown by Murray, my orderly, who threw me across a pack horse and succeeded in bringing me safely to the British lines. Worn with pain and weak from the prolonged hardships which I had undergone, I was removed, with a great train of wounded sufferers, to the base hospital at Peshawar. Here I rallied, and had already improved so far as to be able to walk about the wards, and even to bask a little in the veranda. When I was struck down by enteric fever, that curse of our Indian processions. For months my life was despaired of, and when at last I came to myself and became convalescent, I was so weak and emaciated that a medical board determined that not a day should be lost in sending me back to England. I was dispatched accordingly in the troop ship Orontes, and landed a month later on Portsmouth Jetty, with my health irretrievably ruined, but with permission from a Parnell government to spend the next nine months in attempting to improve it.